I just improved my previous point of contact speedrun with 14 seconds, which is huge. I managed to get a sub 3630 for the first time, which was unthinkable a month ago, when the record was still around the 3650s. So how did I save more than 20 seconds over that run? A big part of it is the out of bounds escape I found 3 weeks ago. We figured out that by hopping off and back on an empty portable turret, you can do some glitchy stuff. First we figured out that you can clip through a wall if you have a portable turret on the other side of that wall. This is called turret clipping. This is a very easy glitch and already saves a lot of time in the escape by skipping the meteors that normally block your way. But then another awesome glitch was found using the portable turret. By placing it super close to a wall, doing the same trick and looking all the way to one side, your character can get slightly pushed into a wall. On 99% of the walls, you will get stuck in an invisible barrier, but in some very specific places, this allows you to go out of bounds. Three weeks ago, I found this specific spot to go out of bounds using two portable turrets. From here, you can climb this mountain and you can get to the final area. Here you can set up a portable turret out of bounds, which you can use in the escape to do turret clipping. And now you can escape out of bounds, skipping, walking through the whole map and both meteors in one go. Normally the escape takes 2 minutes following this path and getting blocked by the meteors. Now it only takes 40 seconds following this path straight through the out of bounds. This find was already huge, but it didn't stop there. Most spots were found where you could go out of bounds. And this specific spot found by Alex was absolutely insane. It's out of bounds in the first area that only uses one portable turret and also lets you go to the second area early. This is a lot of speedrun potential. It would allow me to get the Bulldog, the highest DPS gun in the game, early, which I could use to melt the first barrier hive. It also allows me to leave the barrier hive early and already plan the drill in the next area, saving time. Doing this in a speedrun is not easy, because you need to move every propane tank for maximum damage, and you need to complete every challenge to get enough skill points to max out your class. Maxing out your class is extremely important for increasing your damage by 50% and doubling the propane tank damage. It's a lot of work, but definitely worth it in the end. I then realized I could also destroy the second barrier hive from behind. I already showed you the out of bounds that lets me get to the final area from the second area. And by doing this, I can destroy the second barrier hive from behind as well. And I can leave early, walk in this long path and place the drill as soon as the barrier hive gets destroyed. Point of contact speedruns just became extremely complicated and I absolutely love it. It took me a lot of attempts, but in this speedrun I do all the tricks and set a pretty insane record. It's not perfect since all the tricks are pretty new, but I'm really happy with the run. I'm gonna give post commentary over this run to explain everything that's happening, since I think this is the last form the speedrun will take. I just can't see any more major glitches or tricks being found on point of contact. Maybe if we discover sequence breaking or solo teleportation, things might change, but this is gonna be the strat for a while. Okay, so I just spawned in, I checked if I had the correct hives, the hives I want are the hive right in front of the starting hive and the hive on the street. These two hives are the fastest. If you get the hive in the corner, it loses like one second. If you get the other hive, you lose like two seconds. It doesn't matter much, but it's a fast reset. So uh, I always reset for these hives when I do a speed run. Uh, I upgraded ferals with my starting skill point and I put one in pistol. Uh, I'm gonna throw ferals, pick up the drill, move the drill as fast as I can. And now I have to wait for the drill to be finished again. While I'm waiting, I'm going to move every propane tank again. Um, getting all the propane tanks on the barrier hive is very important for maximum damage. It, it's a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it. I also have to complete it, uh, every challenge. So I get the accuracy challenge. That's always uh, the case on regular difficulty point of contact. It's not the hardest challenge. It's just annoying because I can't shoot the aliens away from me while I move these propane tanks. But it's okay. The drill is probably uh, safe for the whole hive, so I can focus on the propane tanks the whole way. Uh, also, upgrading ferals at the start is very important for the increased movement speed, so you can save time moving the drill. Moving the drill as fast as possible is very important. I also put one point into my pistol to increase the movement speed by 10%, because it's very helpful with moving the propane tanks to be a bit faster. Moving all the propane tanks, doing all the challenges and uh, setting up the out of bounds in the first area is a lot of work but it can be done in uh, the first three hives it is really tight though so i really need to optimize everything 
but uh, if you have good challenges, it's definitely doable. So yeah, I keep moving my propane tanks. As you can see, the drill is being attacked, but I can just totally ignore it because the drill also has extra health because I'm engineer, and it will be safe. Don't worry about it. Also for the loadout, I'm running a portable turret, of course, to do the out of bounds glitches and the portable turret clipping. I run ferals for extra movement speed, which is very important. The ammo doesn't matter much. I run regular ammo here. Um, I was mixing it up because as long as you don't run Crypto Slayer or explosive ammo, it all really doesn't matter. And I run IMS because with the IMS, you can do the propane tank challenge. The IMS fire also counts towards propane tank kills. So that's really useful. I use my engineer shield here so the aliens don't attack me so I can uh, pick up the drill as soon as possible. I make that safe jump there over the railing and place the drill on the next dive. That's, by the way, all the time safe you can do, moving the drill as fast as possible. The, all the hives have a set amount of time, so I can't speed this up. I just have to wait for them to finish. But luckily, in the meantime, I can uh, get all these propane tanks on there. I get a very easy challenge, very happy with it. Uh, trap kills is one of the easiest challenges you can get. Some challenges like air kills are terrible and they take a lot of time. Also prone kills takes a lot of time. So I was very happy with trap kills. I kill one alien on the drill because if I do that the drill will probably be safe uh, for the next of the hive. If you ignore the drill completely it will die but if you just protect it once it will probably be fine. Also normally in the speedrun I would buy the VKS here and already try to search for a extend max or an arc attachment right now i uh, need to save up all my money uh, if i don't save up all my money i can run into money problems because i need to, a portable turret to clip out of bounds and i also need money to buy a bulldog and if i get a propane challenge i need to, money to buy an ims to do that challenge so money situation is really tight i can't go throwing around ammo for fun when I run out of ammo, so that's why sometimes I will use my web specialist ability to give me some ammo. So I uh, collected all the propane tanks in front of the barrier hive, and now I'm going to throw them all on the back side of the hive. If you don't throw them on the back side of the hive, you can't hit the propane tanks from the other side. So I really throw them like on the outer edge. And as soon as you have a few propane tanks on there, it gets easier, because you can throw the new propane tanks against the old propane tanks uh, but there is a chance you throw a propane tank over the hive and you don't have much time so if you do that you're kind of screwed uh, but yeah just try to throw them all on the back of the hive again ferals and uh, engineer shield to move all the uh, move the drill as fast as possible and I continue with my propane tank uh, journey I throw them all in the same spot so they all explode at the same time, which is ideal. I really want them all to explode because else if I miss a few propanes I lose time. I get prone kills, definitely not the best uh, challenge, but the last challenge was really nice so I can still make it. A lot of aliens attacking me, aliens attacking me right now so I can uh, get a few prone kills. I almost died there. Dying is by the way really bad because in the current strats you need to take two downs to even uh, like do the strats. So if you take two more downs somewhere you can't do the strats. So you really have to be careful. Having an extra down really helps if you want to if you're not sure about your out of bounds escape. Need one more? Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna get one more skill point from finishing the hive, and then I will have uh, enough for maximizing my class. I'm gonna make a few kills with the portable turret because I need to empty it anyway, and this way I can protect the hive as well. I have to like get it to one bullet, not completely empty it. So I'm gonna set it up here in the out of bounds spot that Alex found. I'm not going to go out of bounds yet, I first need to move the drill, but I'm already going to set it up. The trick is to get one like a foot of the turret inside the fence, 
and that way you will know you will go out of bounds if you do the trick. I already made a video about the portable turret clipping, but you just empty the turret, hop off, hop on, and then look all the way to one side. I finished the hive here, max, uh, upgrade my class to plus four, immediately pick up the drill, and I really have to be fast here, there's very little time to spare. I'm gonna set up the drill in this corner so I can pick it up when I'm out of bounds. I'm gonna kill these aliens because I don't want to disturb them while I do this trick. Shoot, hop off, hop on, look to the right, clip to the wall. And I have to be very careful here, to the right is void, if I go too far to the right I die. If I go too far to the left I get back inbounds. I pick up the drill, uh, follow this path to go to the second area. Here I place down the drill about here. So when I finish the barrier hive, I can uh, immediately pick up the drill and go to the next hive. I throw ferals to make myself a bit faster. I buy the bulldog and I sprint back to the barrier hive. The helicopter is almost incoming. So you really don't have much time to spare. I throw another ferals, so I am at uh, $1,290. There's the helicopter. I have a few seconds because I was pretty fast. And yeah, there's the barrier hive. It's going to be over before you know. I make all the propane tanks explode. Uh, the bulldog with infinite bullets does an insane amount of damage. And it's already over. I throw ferals and pick up the drill. And as soon as you see the money drop from the barrier hive, you can place the drill. If you do it earlier, the game will soft lock. Oh no, wait, it won't soft lock, but it will place the drill in front of the barrier hive. A bit similar to what I do in the speedrun in Nightfall, if you know what I mean. It's really important. Uh, really, really annoying when the drill teleports. So you have to get it again. It loses a lot of time. So you have to wait for the money to drop. I uh, already set up a portable turret here for the out of bounds to the second area, which I will use later. I still want to do all the challenges because now I want to upgrade my ferals to max. Upgrading your ferals to max will uh, double your sprint duration from 4 seconds to 8 seconds, which is really helpful. Uh, definitely when I have to move the drill for a big distance, like the second barrier hive to the first hive in the third area. It's a very long sprint, so having double sprint duration there is really important. I can't spend money, so I'm kind of fucking around. Already I'm uh, starting to move the propane tanks of the second area. It's uh, yeah, important that all the propane tanks of this area as well move to the towards the barrier hive. Again I have to place them on the back of the hive, which in this case is more difficult. This hive is a bit higher and is uh, like slanted, it's, so it's hard to see where you exactly need to throw. On this hive uh, I have throwing more propane tanks over the barrier hive which is really annoying i didn't, don't think it happens in this one but yeah it can be really annoying so i have to do this annoying challenge and i have to move the propane tanks but it's all fine in this area you have way more time than the first area because the second area uh, the hives take a longer time to be completed so in total you have a lot more time to move all the propane tanks. I also think there is less propane tanks. I think in the first area there's 15 or 16 propane tanks. While here I think there's only like 14 or something. So it's pretty easy to move all the propane tanks. Already put some skill points into ferals. Uh, this makes it so ferals regenerates my health quicker which might be useful. And also uh, doubles the length from I think 15 seconds to 30 seconds. I picked up a Soflam. I don't know why exactly. Normally the Soflam is very nice for the barrier hives because it does decent damage and kind of makes sure all the propane tanks explode. But uh, hitting the, the Soflam from the other side of the barrier hive is kind of awkward. And you kind of miss, so I don't use it. So I'll probably waste it soon. Again, I'm going to throw ferals, use my engineer shield so I don't get shot by scorpion. Getting shot by a scorpion really slows you down. And I did this hive next. By the way, in the second area I got perfect hives. Which is uh, all RNG. 
like uh, this is the shortest path I can take between all the hives so getting these hives is perfect if you get the hive in the corner you can lose like four seconds which is really annoying it's just like RNG uh, here I kill the seeker it's always like in that corner it's very annoying but if you know where it is you can kill it use my infinite bullets to kill him and I'm still throwing output pain tanks on the barrier hive so I'm really trying to hit the back part of the barrier hive and as soon as I throw a few on there like the most of them will stick so that's nice this propane was uh, glitched inside the barrier hive like in the bottom part and then you can't pick it up anymore which is really annoying it can also happen with hives so uh, I guess I lose like 0.3 seconds there because I do less damage against the barrier hive because I have one less propane tank but that's okay here I get another Soflam and I realize like oh fuck Soflam is bad I'm gonna waste it I don't like having it because it messes up my uh, weapon rotations. If I press like Y, I want to have my Bulldog in my hand or my pistol and not uh, so flimsily. So I'm really trying to uh, get this propane tank on the back of the barrier hive. Also there I didn't shoot the aliens because I didn't want to blow up my propane tanks. If I shot my propane tank on accident there, it would have been a reset. Because one propane tank would make the others explode, I would maybe also die, which is really annoying. I really wish the big ball on the front wouldn't be there so I could see where I'm throwing my propanes. But uh, I think I am throwing them on like one big bunch. The very hive is very slanted and like when a propane tank explodes it destroys all other propane tanks on the same height. But if the other propane tanks are more down it won't make them explode. So I have it happened the, that not all propane propane tanks explode which is really annoying here I'm gonna set up the portable turret so I use one portable turret that I set up earlier to go slightly out of bounds I do empty it, hop off, hop back on, look to the right now I'm slightly out of bounds, I'm gonna set up another portable turret and this one is more out of bounds so when I do the same trick again I will get more out of bounds and get fully out of bounds so I can move around freely uh, the hive is going to end, so I have to be there to move it as soon as possible. I'm going to use my engineer shield here probably to uh, make sure the scorpion doesn't hit me. Or I don't, but the scorpion misses me, so that's nice. Immediately set up the next hive. As you can see, if you have to walk all the way to the corner, you just lose a few seconds. It doesn't really matter that much, but if you're in a speed run, it does matter. So I was really happy to, to get perfect hives here. So I've got for paint tank challenge, um, which is really annoying. I think I'll just ignore this because I already have two skill points in my IMS which I think is more than sufficient. One more skill point uh, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna place an IMS there. Uh, I already put two skill points into it uh, to make it a bit better. And the IMS is gonna keep the thrill safe while I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be going for a while. Because I have to get all the way to the third area. And uh, yeah, that, that takes a while. IMS actually almost does the challenge. The IMS did the challenge. That's crazy. I didn't even like help it. But the IMS fire uh, counts towards the challenge. So yeah. Uh, so here I go out of bounds. I do the whole out of bounds setup. I made a whole video about it. So go watch that. Uh, I climbed this mountain. I pretty consistent at it. So uh, I almost died there. It was really scary. But I do climb the mountain in the end. Uh, this is a very scary part, you have to walk this line and now I'm in the third area. And uh, I can't qu actually get into the third area because there is a big invisible wall right there. So I have to walk all the way around. And here uh, the, the ground kind of ends so I can suicide. And when I suicide right here I get put into the third area. So now I'm in bounds again, which is really helpful. Now I'm going to run all the way back to the to second area and as you can see the IMS uh, ran out and the drill is taking a lot of damage 
So right here, I was like very scared. I was running for my life. I, I noticed this like a while ago. So I'm really needed to hurry up. I set a uh, portable turret there to do portable turret clipping so I can get back inbounds. Uh, if you sprint with ferals against that berry hive, you can get back inbounds or you can run over it. And I make it in time to save the drill, which was amazing. I was very scared that it would die. So now we just have to finish this hive. And then I can uh, talk more about the setup. Because most of the skipping to the next area has all been already been done. And I already have the maximum damage gun, the bulldog. I don't have to do much when this hive ends. But it's still uh, pretty cool. I haven't had the scorpion there just because I found one. What I'm actually looking for is a extend max. Extend max would be really helpful for increasing my damage against the barrier hive because I have to reload less. So the hive ended, I'm immediately gonna pick up the drill after I make a few kills. And I'm again going to place it uh, next to the fence, so I can pick it up on the other side. So I, here I'm going to do portable turret clipping. It's like the fifth time this when I do this, but I empty it, hop off, hop back on, and I'm to the wall. I'm going to pick up the drill, I'm going to place it about here. So whenever the berry hive ends, I can already start sprinting towards the next area, which uh, really saves me a lot of time. I'm going to set up a portable turret here. Uh, the portable turret is a nice way to do damage when you don't have infinite bullets anymore. I noticed that I'm very low on ammo, so I threw an ammo box. And now I have enough exactly for one more ferals, which is nice. I also noticed that all of the pain tanks are terribly placed, and I can't see any of them. And when you can't see any of them, you probably can't hit any of them. So I pick one up, and I manage to place it right there, which I think is fine. I immediately make it explode whenever the health bar appears. And I don't think all the propane tanks exploded, but I think a majority did. So I used my infinite bullets to do a fuck ton of damage. But I already have to start reloading and I'm not even close to killing it. So this is like the, the only big mess up in this run. I used the portable turret to do some more damage and I decided to start running. I should have probably done a bit more damage against the barrier hive. Uh, but I decided to start running. Not the best timing ever, but uh, doing this running really saves a lot of time because normally only now I could start running. I have to walk the whole, whole path through here. And now as soon as the money appears, I can place the drill. And that, that saves me so much time, guys. I could have timed it a bit better. It could have saved even more time if I did a bit more damage against the barrier hive. But uh, it's, it's pretty fine. But uh, this run can still be optimized. That part for sure uh, can still be optimized. Here I waste my uh, Soflam because I uh, don't need it. I don't like having it in my inventory. I pick up the cash because I have to spend cash challenge. Makes it a bit easier. This last area has the longest hives. Uh, there is also five hives. So it takes a, a bit before I get to the interesting part again, the escape. But uh, the escape is really something else, so uh, I hope you guys stick around for it. I don't have too much commentary for this part. I uh, just try to complete the challenges so I can upgrade my IMS even more. If I get IMS to plus 4, it gets 6 bullets instead of 4, which is like 50% more. So it will also last 50% longer, which is amazing. Uh, that way I can leave the hive for a lot longer without having to worry about uh, the drill dying. And for setting up the out of bounds escape I have to leave the drill for a while. So upgrading my IMS here is very important. I find a red dot side which I will take because I am gonna buy a uh, long range weapon. The Bulldog is an amazing gun, but it's not that good against Scorpions, and Scorpions are going to be my main struggle when I set up the Out of Bounds escape. So, uh, I am going to buy something else soon. 
And a red dot is uh, really good for other guns. Not per se for the bulldog since I don't aim most of the time. Uh, I almost died here. It was really scary. I uh, throw ferals. I take some poison damage. I get hit by the hunter, but I didn't die. I was fucking amazed. Also, the hunter hit me here, but I again just didn't die. I totally forgot about this part, but this was so scary. The run could have ended right there, because if you take it down, you immediately lose like 5 to 10 seconds. It's terrible, uh, but I don't know how I just barely managed to survive. Really bad on my part, by the way, that I even got that damaged. I also totally wasted my engineer shield. Uh, yeah, really sloppy place on my part, but hey, I managed to survive. So the run continues. Very rarely does a run end because I take it down in a bad spot. Because if I take it down now, it's no problem at all. The only important part is when I move it well. So it, it rarely happens that uh, I lose a run because I die. But yeah, sometimes it, it can happen. It can even happen to the best if you get unlucky uh, scorpion shots. I'm also trying to uh, find all the searches while doing the hives. To maybe get an extend max or an arc, which would be helpful. Um, here I'm again gonna search for search boxes. I found one here, but it's a trash. Oh, it's a multiple break. That's actually kind of decent. There's also a potential time save. I think if you're shooting the second barrier eye from behind, the muzzle break might increase your damage because the damage range of the bulldog really falls off really quickly. So standing a bit closer might be helpful, or having a attachment that increases your range. Uh, but I didn't have it. I don't think it matters that much though. The bullet is still really strong. But I do know the damage to a buff is like really significant. If I, if you have a holographic sight, you can actually see the damage to a buff over uh, range. Which is actually kind of interesting. I'm probably going to test this uh, afterwards to see if I did maximum damage on the berry hive. Because I probably didn't. So again, I'm going to ferals. There's no scope in the side, so I don't use my engineering shield. I'm gonna... I actually got hit by a scorpion. But I again got good hives here. This hive only saves like one second uh, over the other, but it's still nice that I got it. I uh, upgraded my IMS to plus four just now, and I'm gonna place it there. And I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna partially set up the out-of-bounds escape, but not completely. Uh, while the IMS keeps it well safe. So I'm not going to do the whole setup. Because that would take too much time. But I can already uh, do the first part. Where you need to get out of bounds with two turrets. Because doing that all during the last hive. Can be kind of tricky. Definitely if the scorpions follow you. So here by the SA. Uh, amazing gun. And that's going to keep me safe from the scorpions. I'm uh, going to empty the turret here. Because I need to do that anyway. Perfect to kill the Seekers with. So I'm going to place it next to this wall. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hop off a bone. And I'm out of bounds. Partially out of bounds. I'm going to place another turret. And I'm already going to empty it. I'm gonna see if there's uh, much following me, but there isn't much following me. And the drill health is also still looking fine. So I can completely empty the turret and I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna do the whole setup because I don't have time for that now. But um, during the last hive, when I get to there now, I can immediately go out of bounds, which is gonna save a lot of time uh, doing the setup. And it's gonna make it much more likely that I succeed. And the drill doesn't die when I come back. Also, I don't need to do the challenges anymore. I already uh, maxed out my IMS. I am upgrading my ammo, but it doesn't really matter. I might try the challenge. I don't know. I'm still looking for searches. I wouldn't even care right now. I don't think I will find an extend max this game. Oh yeah, this is a rhino during this hive. I totally forgot about that. I use my infinite bullets to take care of that. 
You just want to have it dead whenever the hive finishes, but isn't that much of a problem. He actually survived that barrage of bullets, but now he's dead. So now I just have to do one more hive and then it gets interesting again. As you can see, these hives take a long time in the last area, especially this one. For some reason, this one takes a one extra minute over the other ones. And that's also why I use this hive to set up the portable turrets, because it's a longer hive. I set up my engineer shield and ferals to move the drill as quick as possible without getting shot by scorpion. Kinda fumbled there against the fence, but uh, yeah, I got up, placed the drill, and now I just have to protect this last hive. Very easy challenge. I thought it was a surge when I was climbing. I found bouncing bellies. Bouncing bellies are actually nice for the barrier hive because I think they do a bit of damage and you can like stack them next to your propanes. But it really doesn't matter much. I actually find extend max. My searching actually paints off. Extend max is really nice because uh, yeah, 50% more ammo in my gun and also your ammo reserves increase by 50%. So that's always helpful. It's really helpful against the barrier hive especially because you have to reload less. But I'm still happy I found it I guess. My camo is very ugly now though. Very easy challenge by the way. I don't need the skill points but uh, yeah it's still funny. Just showing off how uh, strong the SA 805 is. I can casually just protect the drill. Right now is uh, the waiting for the storm because next hive everything is gonna go ham. It's uh, annoying that these hives can't be sped up, because I really don't know what to say. But uh, if I want to submit this run to the speedrun.com leaderboards, I can't speed up any part of this run. So, uh, sorry guys. By the way, this run will probably be on speedrun.com for a while. I uh, can't expect this run to be broken very soon. At some point it will be. But uh, this is a really solid run. So, I finished the last hive, I moved the drill. Okay, and now the, the fun begins. I gotta kill the aliens. I'm gonna set up an IMS. And I'm gonna leave. And that IMS is gonna keep the drill safe. Together with that electric trap. And I'm gonna be gone for a long time. Luckily, for some reason, this hive is 5 minutes long. I think it's the longest hive in the entire game. Uh, so I do have time to... Uh, Set, this ev set everything up, which is actually kind of nice. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but uh, on any other map this would be terrible because the hives only take 3 to 4 minutes, but this one is 5 minutes. So also if you look at the timer, uh, the run is only like 5 more minutes. So as soon as the last hive ends I'm gonna escape within like within a minute within 40 seconds so I already used the turret that I placed earlier to go out of bounds hop on this fence hop on this rock make sure to not get stuck out of bounds hop on this tentacle Th that it is possible is still like amazing to me this parkour is so specific I really think the the devs let this in here but uh, yeah, I hop on this mountain, hop on this triangle, and now I walk this line. And now I'm in the third area. So I could opt to a suicide again to get back to the trail. Um, I am not gonna do that because then I will have no self revives anymore during the escape. Uh, so I'm gonna walk all the way around 
By the way, I'm setting up the portable turret right here for the, the portable turret clip escape. So I'm gonna go back in bounds uh, with the line and I'm gonna walk all the way back. If your twill is being damaged, you can commit suicide at the same spot I committed suicide earlier to uh, get to the drill faster. But my drill health was looking fine, so I decided to walk all the way around. This way I do have an extra self-ref, so if I do fail the out of bounds escape and fall off the map, I can at least uh, respawn and still finish. Like, dying and run because you fall off the map really sucks. So I kind of like it. So as you can see, there's my turret. It's, uh, I think this is the best spot to place your turret in, but I'm not completely sure, but that's a pretty good spot. I'm checking I can reach it and that it still has one bullet, but I can reach it and it has one bullet, so that's perfect. So I can go to back to the drill. And now I have to defend the drill for two more minutes. Yeah. Like, I got really good in setting this up. This is not the first attempt I've done for this. Uh, I don't even need the 5 minutes anymore, but I think it's very nice that we have 5 minutes, so uh, even if things go not so right, you still have time to to do it. I'm so close to finishing this challenge, but for some reason I'm ignoring it. I need to spend 50 bucks. I don't even know how I got this close to completing the challenge. Was it? What can I buy that's 50? I just don't know. I decided to finish the challenge and put my skill points into a pistol. This gives me uh, 3 extra bullets, which is not important at all, but hey, why not? Only the first pistol upgrade increases your speed. The rest is just uh, ammo and uh, double wielding and uh, having 2 primaries, which I don't like. I've is almost finished. And then I'm gonna do the fastest escape you guys have ever seen. By the way, this one was played on the 360. I don't think there's a difference between versions. The 360 just has the faster reset times, which I also made a video about. But the uh, Xbox One version, 360 version, it all runs at 60 FPS. The map is exactly the same, as far as I know. There's only one glitch on Exodus on the 360 version that isn't only in the other version. But for the rest it's exactly the same. Okay, so the hive is going to end here. I'm going to make sure I have ferals. And there are scorpions. I'm going to kill the scorpions. I'm going to use engineer specialist to protect me for scorpion shots. I'm going to activate the nuke. Drop it to the void. And now I'm going to start sprinting. Uh, this gives me an 8 second sprint because I threw ferals. It actually didn't give me an 8 second sprint because I started sprinting before it fails hit the ground, but it's okay. I do portable turret clipping, get out of bounds. Uh, here I see the ledge, I take a quick break to make sure I don't die. I sprint, jump and uh, go over the ledge. Uh, you hear the voice line, that means you did it successfully. Uh, you skipped the whole map and you escaped out of bounds. It's really important you hear the voice line else the helicopter will not come. I uh, reach the extraction point before the helicopter is even here. But there he is. Uh, 319 on the clock, I think, which is very good. And I'm just waiting now for the helicopter to finish. And then I see the mission complete screen and I can pass the timer. And there we go, 36-28, amazing run, it, it saved so much time, like 14 seconds over my old run. Uh, these new strats are insane. Big shout out to Alex for finding the first area out of bounds, exactly 360 kills, that's funny because I play on the 360. Uh, yeah, amazing run. Uh, it can be beaten, uh, the second barrier hive was not optimal. I have to admit that. I don't think Alpha Paint Tanks exploded and I left too early. But very good run nonetheless. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope my commentary was useful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more commentary. And I'll see you next one.